We've spent the last 12, 14 months really doing stuff underground. And that's the stuff that actually creates the beauty that people are going to experience. What everyone will start to see now um, is the garden coming to life. The connecting thread of this project is Pierre Dupont. It was a tightrope act for us early on, and you really have a couple of paths that you can take. You could create the exact garden again. That was not an option for us. If our founder was still around today, he would want to have the latest technology, the best technology, and he would want to explore the landscape in a way to improve it. In the past, this garden hasn't always been the most inviting space along with. So we really fundamentally wanted to improve the guest amenities and the experience in the garden so our guests would linger and relax and enjoy it. It took an army of design professionals to make those decisions and to help guide our discussions. The experts from Bayer, Blender, Bell, and of course our partners at the landscape architecture firm West 8. West 8 is an incredible group of innovative landscape architects that understand the importance of legacy but push us to think about the future. I still remember the first time I went uh, to the site. I was uh, unbelievably uh, excited about the fountain gardens. I thought it's not green enough. So the fountain garden uh, has a beautiful layout. It is an American version of French garden. But if you know Longwood, it was not very green green. And the horticultural craftsmanship in Longwood is like, you cannot underestimate it. There are no constraints in the design of a garden. It can be fantastical and it can be experimental. So it was, it's an extremely creative process. In the world of landscape architecture, a botanical garden is like the holy grail because it's about uh, the demonstration of what the landscape, uh, what gardening can be. For a project like this, which is very rooted in the legacy of an individual, there are some things which are, it's sort of clear where you want to go. You want to stay with the spirit of DuPont and, and adhere to what you knew his values were, but then there are things that we had to invent. So it was a whole repertoire from crushed gravel, edges, uh, stone, the water, hedges, trees, uh, vegetation on the walls. They are very small changes, but together they make a relationship between American style in the French style. When you're in the garden, you're going to have eye candy that's going to lead you through that garden because it's going to be so beautiful and sculptural, something that people haven't seen before. Longwood is known for these spectacular gardens, really the wow factor. And with this garden, what we want to do is create this green oasis. And we made a conscious decision not to pick plants that bloom vividly. But what we want to do is use those plants to really highlight all the gorgeous architecture and not draw attention to itself but enhance it. You can have beautiful eyes, but then with eyeliner or with makeup, you can do something with it, which is not um, undermining the beauty of the eye, it's even lifting it. If we can do that with a fountain garden, then you have the same uh, design, the same layout, but it is more dramatic. These are Tilia cordata, green spire, a plant that we selected for the LA's. In the past, the LA was fairly narrow, and we've broadened that LA, so there, it's really a cool garden canopy under that green foliage in the summer. I think it's going to be a totally different experience than it was in the past. Similar to if you're walking through a park in Paris, in our today world with uh, computers and internet and apps, but also with uh, the bombardment of uh, commercial uh, illusions, we are uh, craving for authenticity and for a sort of antidote, which is nature, which is culture, but also uh, gardens. No one cares what boxwood we used unless you're really interested in horticulture. But for the million plus people who go there and the families who go there, it's, it's more of a question of why do we have gardens at all? Why do we have big public gardens like this? It's because people want a place to be together, which is more pleasant, more pleasurable, more welcoming, and be a place where you share memories. I think that's why Longwood exists. They believe so strongly in the mission of the guest and the guest experience. It's about, about being together and enjoying this place together.